wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Celtic Park doing what Celtic Park does. These Celtic fans really are out on their own. Just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Ankel Di Maria. He's someone who rarely fails to make a big impression. He's such a silky, elusive dribbler and a fine finisher with the knack of scoring some spectacular goals. He's a player that this team will want to have on the ball as often as they can. He's a great creator. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. And he's there to cut it out. And that's going to be a goal kick. Silva. And here's Rafa Silva. And here's Suarez. What a ball this has turned out. There's the shot! He's had that put on a plate. And he has been fouled there. This certainly looks appetizing. Well within shooting range. He's gone for goal. And how good was that? That is a gem. An absolute gem. Dispatched expertly. Nicely done. I doubt very much that this was in the script. It's Di Maria. It's Luis Suarez, Matuidi, deftly done, Rafa Silva is on to it and can take it up, Luis Suarez, and now they can launch a counter. Barkley, that's not going to make it, hoists it forward. Out to the left it goes. Forward it goes. Now it's Luis Suarez. Going for goal! Fabian Ruiz. Gets wrestled off the ball. Now the counter. Matuidi. Barkley gets into the right position to intercept. Spot is he's been found. Has a hit! Rafa Silva. Tries to get it forward quickly. 
Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. Makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. That intervention was very necessary. Rafa Silva brings it forward, going through. Oh, it's Rafa Silva, gets away from his opponents. Rafa Silva. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. And it's hoisted clear. Surely, chance! It's in! And there's the goal they've been looking for. What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. Sporting have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. And here's Rafa Silva. And here's Suarez. Fabinho. They're guilty of lacking inventiveness here. It's all broken down. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Rafa Silva proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Luis Felipe, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. And it's played forward. Oh, good interception. Defenders on the back foot. A buccaneering run from the defender. He's got away. Timely intervention. Fabian Ruiz. Di Maria drives it forward. Oh, what a ball! Shoots! He scores! A goal and a really telling moment. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. They took the defence out of the equation for that split moment, and the damage was all done. Celtic get themselves back into contention. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum now. And to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves, Sporting seem to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. And here's Rafa Silva. And here's Matuidi. Well read, he sorted that out. Hoists it forward. And it's Matuidi. Now it's Rafa Silva. Rafa Silva. First 45 minutes are up. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, it's still anyone's game, as, as both sides have shown they have goals in them. As for the next one, should it arrive, um, that may have a bigger bearing as to who emerges victorious. Very little in it. The score at half-time is two goals to one. And the action has already resumed here. A goal. Oh, that's a fine challenge. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. 
it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing Matuidi tries to get it forward quickly Fred forward it goes and here's Rafa Silva and it's played forward Di Maria Di Maria tries to stroke it through cut out in the nick of time uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Matuidi. We can assume that they've been instructed by the boss to, to stay in attack. They're just looking to break, aren't they? Yeah, the key now is just to get the ball to them as soon as possible. And it's Matuidi. Matuidi. We sit high. Got to play for a goal kick. Fabian Ruiz. That always looked inevitable. The defense dealt with that really well. Sporting have it back and they can go again. Suarez is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Well, there's certainly a, a coordinated attempt to shut him down, which is, I suppose, a natural response. Matuidi. Now it's Rafa Silva. Abraham. Fabian Ruiz. Molnikov, Di Maria, Fabian Ruiz. Oh, looks like he's been taken. Abraham has a goal! It's off target and by quite a way. Well, his reaction to that was ultra sharp, Peter. His anticipation is in fine working order. Changes on both sides, actually. Rafa Silva. Coming on the right now. What's on? Time to deliver. Plays it back. Chance to break. More than happy to take the muscular approach. And it's Giroud. Over to the left. Fred. And here's Giroud. Get the pass he's looking for. Di Maria. Abraham. 
save. Has a hit! Really well taken goal. And that is about as cool as they come. He picks his spot expertly. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. We have got changes here, from both sides in fact. This has become one superb game of football. Celtic surely know by now that they've put so much work into producing the equaliser that they'll battle on for a winner. You know, it's, it's all... Heads it! Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Di Maria. Di Maria drives it forward. Celtic showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Rafa Silva. Abraham. Abraham. Abraham! And no he couldn't find the finish. Well, maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead then. And it's Silva. Now it's Giroud. Lucas Vasquez. It has... Look at the goal! That's a half-decent try. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Changes then in quick succession. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Matridi. And here's Rafa Silva. Matridi. Sporting to make one last surge forward. Turns and goes back. It's Giroud! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Up to meet it! Yes, he's done it! Late in the day, this could well be it! Great corner, and he did the rest. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Sporting take the lead, now it's just a question of holding on. There's still a bit left in it, Peter, but they should find the necessary to avoid a slip-up now. Gets the better of his man. Barkley plays it forward. It's just a question of running down the clock now. Well played, he saw that coming. And time is up. Sporting goes by the odd goal. Really could have gone either way, but a win is a win. Sporting leave it late, but in the end, it was great. Well, I just think that determination and persistence has paid off handsomely to, to squeeze the win out of a draw. Sometimes... 
it comes down to grit and desire and the stubbornness to keep plugging away. And uh, this has been great staying power. And that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.